I knew I had to keep the foot on the gas, try not to make any bogeys, which you know I did very, very well. Uh, I think I bogeyed seven, and that was the only one. Um, you know, I missed a short one for for a par, which would have won the hole. And you know, obviously saw it slide by and had to hold one three times as long for for a bogey and for a half. So uh, you know, the putter seemed to work very, very nicely for me today, and uh, I think that was a massive key in uh, in my success today. The back, please. I'm surprised at all the to, to win by four and quite convincingly against Cam. And, and was he at his best today? Do you think was he? Um, difficult, really. I mean, I think we both played pretty steady in the morning. Um, <clears throat> I think I was maybe four or five, maybe six under this morning. Um, and he had, I think, six birdies and a couple of bogeys. So he was the only one to drop a drop a shot out of the two of us. But um, this morning was very, very tight. Um, I don't know, this afternoon, I just felt like I was a little bit more consistent. And, um, I'd say Anthony just was a little bit off on the greens. You know, he had a couple of chances to get back in the game. And, um, you know, in match play, you've got to take those. And for me, every time I, I had a putt to to stay in it or to win a hole I knew it was uh, was huge because against a guy like AK you don't want to give the guy a second chance because he's a very gritty uh, competitor and he's, he's he never gives up um, and that showed right to the end you know you're thinking um, on uh, on 14 I'm thinking I'm you know probably not going to need mine but you know he, he fights back and holds a really good putt for par making me hold my putt so uh, and then obviously the, the putt here on 15 always looked Look pretty good, so uh, it was always going to be a difficult game. But um, yeah, to beat him is one thing, but to beat him, like you say, convincingly in four and three, uh, I'll take a lot, uh, a lot from that. I'll start again. Yeah, I've experimented a, a little bit with new putters. Um, the one I'm using at the moment is a new one that I got at, um, I think it was Akron um, that week. Uh, didn't actually use it that week. I used it the following week at the PGA, um, and yeah, just slightly changed um, something in my setup. Um, I have a tendency to, to aim a little bit too far left with the putter blade, so uh, um, I think it was a few of my uh, my buddies at, at Wentworth when I played. We played an eighteen hole game. They, they actually said, you know, you look like it's a little bit close, and so just try and open it. And as soon as I did that, I started to putt quite nicely. Um, and I've been using uh, just like a block of wood to uh, to practice my putting so that my, my putter blade goes straight back and straight through. So, uh, yeah, I'd say that's that's probably boils down to the consistency and uh, starting to hold a few more putts, I think. Hi, please. Ross, is there anything in, uh, in Anthony's manner besides his competitiveness and, you know, trying so hard that makes him pretty and difficult to play in that play? Uh... He's just, um, he's a world-class player, you know. Uh, I think uh, playing with him last year in the Open, um, I've played with a lot of uh, very good players, but uh, I said to Az, geez, this guy's, this guy's really good. You know, he, uh, he was very impressive because Saturday at the Open, you know, we stood on that 10th green for about 45 minutes because the ball just wouldn't stop because the wind was so strong. Um, but yeah, he really impressed me then and Obviously, I knew it was going to be very, very difficult today. Um, he doesn't make many mistakes. You know, he hits his driver pretty long, very straight. Hits his iron shots good. Um, and he's got a really good putting stroke, and you just think he's going to hold um, everything on the greens. So, you know, for me, I was just very, very fortunate that, you know, maybe he had a slightly off day today. Um, but I don't think I can take anything away from myself. You know, I felt like I played flawless golf today with with only one bogey. Um, you know, I was, uh, I think, uh, I think I would have been quite tough uh, for someone to have beat me on my uh, on my performance today. He's got a bit of swagger. That yeah, he's got he's got a bit of swagger. You know, he, uh, you know, but that's uh, that's his personality, and that's 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 Anthony. You know, that's, you know, he wears his heart on his sleeve. You know, um, everybody's different. You know, I, I don't really show too much emotion. I'm I'm focusing on what I'm trying to do, trying not to look at. What he's uh, what he's doing, obviously, you know, when he holds a putt, he he does sometimes celebrate quite big. But hey, that's if it gees yourself up that way, then you know I'm I'm all for that. But for me, I just like to stay nice and calm, nice and relaxed, and uh, just go about my business. And obviously, I managed to do that quite well today.
Robert again before we wind up. Yeah, ads has been uh, been huge this week. Um, I think probably the the key moment was um, I think it was the second player foul against Angel uh, last night. Um, the first one I hit a rescue in, thought it was really good and came up just short and had uh, a little bit further in and um, had three with him. He just said to me, right, come on, fish, let's hit as good a shot as you hit into 18 at Wentworth um, this year. And when you hear comments like that, you know, your mind sort of wanders into, you know, what actually happened there. And, I, you know, you kind of pluck out from the air, oh, yeah, I did actually hit a really good three with there and almost made three. So, you know, just the positive words that he kept on saying, you know, even today in the afternoon, um, being one up, two up, three up, he said, right, come on, Fish, let's knuckle down. Let's not treat this like we're up. Let's treat this like we're one down. You know, keep fighting, keep hanging in there. Um, and he was just great all all week. Um, you know, he's, uh, he's a great kid and uh, he works tirelessly hard for me. Um, you know, sometimes I might give him a bit, a bit too much of a hard time, but... You know, I suppose that's uh, that's us pros for you. You know, it's it's uh, as they say, it's never our fault, is it? It's always the caddy's fault. So, uh, you know, he's probably had a, a bit of stick from me, but um, you know, he definitely uh, he definitely earned his uh, earned his club this week. He was uh, he was absolutely first class this week. Okay, well, Ross, as you say, think of Court is a special place, and this is a special week. You'll never. F- forget I don't think uh, congratulations again and be involved with World Match Play Champion thank you thanks very much thank you